You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's The Quest After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now another post-game wrap-up show. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Oh. <laughs> this means we're live now. All right. Okay. Well, we're in a different studio tonight because we yes. have a full house. But if you're watching AfterBuzzTV.com, this is the Quest After Show. I'm your host, James Wallington. And to my right is the beautiful... Hello, Danielle Pacenti. And across the table from us... <laughs> Melina Alvish. And executive producer... Robert. And on the couch... Jane Fleming. Mark Rodeski. Yay! Yay! The executive producers of the Quest have joined what? us tonight. Thanks for coming in, you guys. Wow. Oh, pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dance party. I wish the lights were like flicker <laughs> and like going around. I'm oh. serving a cabbage patch in a minute. Wow. <laughs> All right. All right. That was, that that was intense. I'm just going to say I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get Hag of Pergwall in here tonight. Oh, I feel like oh she, idiot boy. We were obsessed. <laughs> there we go. She was our favorite. She, she was. was amazing. She can she stay. Is. Well, yeah. We made her rhyme. So it's yeah. sort of the best thing it is. It's pretty close. Well, thank you guys for coming in tonight because we're obviously obsessed with this show. So to have you guys here to give us a little yeah. inside scoop and behind the scenes, like how it all works, is exciting to yeah. us. Right. My first question is, where was this filmed? Everell? Burbank. No, it was, no. <laughs> it was filmed in Austria. Wow. Oh, wow. Yep, right outside of Vienna, about 20 minutes outside of Vienna, in the <gasps> middle of nowhere, in the middle of the woods, in a castle with no electricity and no running water. Wow. Yeah. They were the, our Palins were the first people to sleep in the castle in 200 years. <gasps> it just yeah. got a little That's bit more so magical. Cool. Yeah, I just got goosebumps. Oh, no. <laughs> now, did you awesome. all stay in that castle? No, we wanted to desperately. They but they, we, we, we didn't. It was, it was the Paladins, you know, were on the, like, 18th floor of the castle. <laughs> and they had to walk down all those flights of stairs to go to the bathroom. No running no. water. Really? Yeah, amazing. no electricity. Wow. Spooky, spooky late night peeing. Well, that's yeah. interesting because on today's episode, we saw, I think it was Shondo, and I don't remember who he was following up the stairs, and he's like, you're almost there, you almost <laughs> made it, and I'm thinking, why is he saying this? <laughs> oh, my God. It took it 10 minutes difficult? to get up there. No, oh, it was, it was so exhausting. Many stairs. Oh. Yeah. It was wow. exhausting. But we really wanted a 360-degree experience for the Paladins so that they could really immerse themselves. Because, you know, when you look right. at castles, modern-day castles, they're, you know, right next to McDonald's, yeah. or they're half-built, or they're too fancy, and... You know, our co co executive producer Michael <coughs> Williams looked at over two thousand castles. That was almost two thousand castles uh, to find this one. Because they're they're yeah. usually built like next to an In and Out Burger. Like you know, I mean, they weren't <laughs> built next to one. In and Out built next to them. Yeah. So we needed something that was out in the middle of nowhere. Right. And it, we just found this. It was a privately owned castle. Wow. Mm, wow. Which definitely sets the magic for the yeah, show. Yeah, absolutely. What, how long was the initial planning process then? Like, when did someone come up with this idea and the drawing board end up happening? A billion years, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Like, really? it, it came out of, you know, Mark, we want to talk about it. Yeah, we were... it was kind of a two-step dance. I mean, the, the inspiration <laughs> it was back in 1999 during pre-production of The Lord of the Rings, which I was an executive producer of, and Jane and I worked at New Line Cinema together, and all the actors, Orlando Bloom and John Aston and Elijah Wood, were doing sword training and archery yeah. training and and... and Horse training, and then we thought, gosh, would it be great if like we could do that? Wouldn't it wasn't even people? that nice. I was like, what is going on here, and why can't we do that? Because I mean, why do <laughs> actors get to have all of that fun, and we as executives like tirelessly work? Yeah. Um, tirelessly. Anyway, so it, years later, when we had our own company, we remembered the idea and the seed of the idea, and we went next door. We actually. We're in the same building as uh, Rob, Eric, and Michael Williams. We were Kramer. We would just pop in. Pop in. And, just and we right popped in and we and said, you know, look, we're, mo we're like the movie producers that know nothing about reality television, but what if mm. we took 12 people and put them in a fantasy world? And we didn't know, but Rob's a 
big closet nerd and um, I don't, I, not so I'm closet. I'm not a closet nerd. I'm we just a, didn't know. I'm wearing a Dalek t-shirt. He was just I'm so not cool. a closet nerd. Um, but we, um, we, you know, they fell in love with the idea and then we brought the Amazing Race team in and that's the six of us and we all sort of tirelessly planned from that point forward. It probably was, Five years. you know. Wow. Yeah. Really? Holy smokes. Yeah, we, we wanted to make sure that we could do something that was surprising that, that hadn't been done before. I mean, obviously, there was a lot of reputation at risk here. You, you had the creators of Queer Eye, you had the executive producer of Lord of the Rings, the executive producers of Amazing Race. Like, we didn't need to make a show like this, but we really wanted to try it, wanted to try to redefine reality television, yeah. and we wanted to make it at a super high level. Because yeah. why, you know, go big or go home, honestly. Mm. Um, and we wanted the paladins, the people, to be amazed and surprised not to have to act. So, yeah. so it just a, took a while to figure it out. We made a trailer early, early on. We said, let's if we could make what we want the show to look like, this is what it would be. And so we used bits of Lord of the Rings and Stardust and, and Harry Potter and those movies that we loved and said, okay, it has to look like this. It can't look like a typical reality show. So over the course of five years, I mean, we went and we both produced movies. I think you did two movies. I did a movie. Yeah. Like, there was so much stuff that happened. We did shows. There was probably like four seasons of Amazing Race. <laughs> yeah, four seasons of Amazing Race. Oh, and, and we finally got to the point where we're like, okay, we can do this now because we wanted magic to happen in front of them. So, you know, when you shoot a movie, if I want a fireball to go at you, you throw a tennis ball and then CGI, you make it a fireball. We needed the fireball. So we had to wait for things to catch up to us and technology and new former who does all the, when you're going to, as this, it keeps getting bigger each week. So you saw this week we had the Hagger Pergol. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And we have some amazing 3D like uh, projection mappings of things that you would think were really happening in this room. Oh my gosh, it's it's amazing. Yeah, it's really it's fun. So it's really fun. I mean, you know, and, and you know, we wanted to find the right partners. So like Spectral Motion, who did the Hag tonight. Mm -hmm. Um, and did the ogre the first night, and, and they're the best in the business. They do all of Guillermo del Toro's creatures, and and um, they're they're <laughs> phenomenal. And we just brought in the best in the business. As a f huge fan of the ama uh, the Amazing Race, but reality <laughs> television in general, I was so excited for this show because, like you said, it's never been done before. Just to see it come together has been amazing for me as a fan of Super Nerd. <laughs> and I think you absolutely are redefining the face of reality TV. Like oh, to me, wait, this wait. is much more interesting than shows we've seen for years. Granted, I love those shows because they're classics now, but it's just like. But this we love is reality different. television yeah. too. I mean, Mark Rodeski is like <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. he pretty much is like a like expert on everything. He should yeah, come and no. be like one of you guys on the show. At our house, that. reality television is is ninety percent of what is watched. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> and I so it was a really the executive producer of Lord of the Rings. You know <laughs> why? Because my, really my wife is my wife is a New Zealander. I met her in New Zealand. How'd that happen? I have no idea. <laughs> I spent five years there, and so part of her acclimation to American culture, she found a lot of reality TV when she got here ten years ago, and started watching it. And of course, if she's watching it. I'm watching, You're watching it. So. And we and what was so fun is that when we really got into it and started figuring it out, it's like the the rules of reality television are the exact same rules of fantasy. Yeah. You know, of the hero's journey at least. Right. You know, where you have a large group you know, the group of people and one by one they get eliminated until one hero's all by himself and he's gotta do something really scary. And um, so, you know, reality television is sort of the same idea. And so when we started figuring out exactly how we would do it, it the, the challenges made so much sense. It was yeah. like, okay, cool. Like we can have, it's a challenge, challenge elimination show within the backdrop of a uh, kingdom under siege. Yeah. yeah. I like that. How you cool is that, that right? It's so yeah. cool. I don't know if you guys caught from last week's show, but we were debating for a little while about what does the the hero actually win? Yeah. Because it hasn't been mentioned. Um, the all. hero. Really? They get to be the hero. Wow. Bragging rights. And you know what? What kind of amazing. you know? If several of the journalists. It's funny because you know sometimes when people write about the stuff, the work we did, they put into words what we didn't, you know, we couldn't or we right. didn't know what we were going for. But you know, Gawker wrote an article and they said the prize is the experience, mm -hmm. and and it's yeah. true. It really is. You know, we wanted to give these people this experience, and when people get banished, you know, that's the sad part. They have to go back to uh, reality. To the Hilton so when you think venue. about the one true hero, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the one true hero, he or she is going to be in the experience the longest when you right. sort of think about it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, think about it. If you got to go to Hogwarts, oh my gosh, and then like on day one, you got kicked out of Hogwarts, I'd be pissed off. Yeah. Hogwarts. For sure. I think what's so different about the show is the production value. I mean, it's truly amazing. I can't say Thank that you. enough. And for anyone that is experiencing that, 
yeah, I would want to stay too. And I think that's why it's not traditional to reality TV. Mm. That yeah. was our big thing. When we started this, we said we need to immerse them 100% into this environment. So that environment is more than just a story. It's more than just a costume. It's a combination of everything. So you see there are hundreds of extras. They lived in a castle. They ate... You know, they had no running water, no electricity. They ate off of terracotta plates and silverware of the time. And they didn't have, you know, we weren't shipping in steaks for them. They were eating pieces of meat and cheese and grapes. And so every single element, those costumes were aged. And we had, you know, costumes that Game of Thrones couldn't get because we had them. Like, and we were sending people to Madrid to get stuff. So wow. we just kept going layer after layer after layer so that when you looked around, I mean, there was a day I was on sets telling people that the fingernails weren't dirty enough. <laughs> so like having them run around because I hate watching that where all of a sudden you yeah. see like perfect, you know, manicured <laughs> yeah. hands. It's like, really? You just fought a dragon. Like, how the hell do you have manicured hands? So like we, we just kept going and I get yelled at several times for telling people to put more dust on stuff. We call um, we call Rob Queer Eye for the castle guy. <laughs> I was, so was. Oh I mean, God. it was really, but, but you know what, that's, what, that's the fun part about having six super talented people is everybody brought their strengths to bear in a lot of different ways and, and, and it, it turned out to be something we're all really, really proud of. So we're glad, yeah. we're, it's really gratifying to have fans and people that are excited by it and supporting it and mm. we've got a Twitter army, and it's fun. It's super humbling. And then we, we kind of, the first episodes, you kind of forget that it's a reality show at first because there mm -hmm. really wasn't much strategy going on. Yep, and no. You were kind of immersed. Yeah. Like you said you wanted to immerse the paladins into this world. Well, as a reality fan, I feel like I relate to the characters that I see on reality shows. So since they're being immersed into this world, I feel like I'm being immersed into this oh, world. So I forget that it's even a show but yeah. till tonight with the strategy like alright here now the strategy Here's there seems the strategy. a little bit more strategy yeah. and relationships that are forming to how to vote a certain way how what defines a hero mm -hmm. so I, don't, I feel like the balance is it's there and it it's is. awesome yeah. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. I love what you just brought up about just how involved you guys were with the production as far as, like, the dusting and the dirty nails. I think um, we owe you guys and maybe the fans a slight apology. Yeah. <laughs> because last week we were discussing the fact that there's no way oh. that what we were seeing was really what was happening. And they were yelling cut and they were moving them around and giving them lines and saying things. But apparently... Nope. We were really wrong. I think that's why this is different, but it's so good to have you guys in the well, studio. Well, we also call it, we call it the most reality reality show ever because yeah. we actually were so... I, I also say it's like the best surprise party anybody's right. ever thrown yeah. people because we would like get it all set up and then like go running away like you know into our corners and let it all happen and the actors to their credit you know like just rolled with things the yeah. only people that the paladins talked to were the characters that you're seeing. <laughs> It's Everything it was amazing. that they say, it was really cool. they said. So oh, wow. my question then, because this kind of goes back to yeah. last week when I first, oh, let me look at my cheat sheet. <laughs> Is it Leticia? Is that how you yes. pronounce her name? When she lost her scroll and they made a big oh. fuss about it. Yes. Obviously, that's out of the control yeah. of the story that's developing in Everrealm. So how how did that? How do you guys jump on something like that? And well, just you get really it? sadistically excited because that's <laughs> sort of fun. Yeah. She was really freaked out, and um, and one of the horse trainers had found it and brought it to us and um, we said well what a wonderful opportunity and you know Peter you know, the, we, had, the, we, we had sort of skeleton scripts written and then in these cases you know I would usually sit with the actors and we would sort of figure out exactly sort of how it would go down and, and we sort of got it all set up and walked him through it before they got there and then they came and that was the whole thing. It's one of our favorite moments too, because that's what I love. Because he's, a fan, he's like, an ex-military guy. Peter Peter's been in the military, so he just drew upon that experience. Peter's uh, and Scar. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 And it's not like we found it. Like she walked away, and oh, there it is. Let's just say. Yeah. It. it was left. Yeah. She didn't know where it was. And we so we, we were really happy. We found it. We just found it. Like, yeah. yeah. Just and I remember the early episodes. Because those things are super heavy. You know, they were all hand carved. Wow. It's, you know, it's a piece that goes together. It was a pretty extraordinary, you know, the Sun Spear one put together is a pretty extraordinary thing. So. And she was in a panic because at the early stage, you don't know what all the rules of a limit is. This a, is this a banishment <laughs> offense? Like, what totally. Is so we people are completely that. freaked out <laughs> yeah. because they didn't know. But we know. didn't know either. Actually, we were a little freaked out too because we were like, "Oh, we didn't think about if they lost their sense of piece. Do we banish them? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, what? What are we gonna do?" I, I, um, but it all worked out. I think we agreed on whippings. 
was no, oh, no. <laughs> or stoning. We were like, are they gonna spin the car the castle? I'm glad I'm sitting on this side. Oh my oh God. God. Second season. No, I guess no, you no, have no. to start collaborating with us. Somebody said that, that day, where do you go with your, you know, after banishments? I was like, beheadings. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Sign the paper. You're in. <laughs> and that's a, that goes back to the whole thing with Leticia is when she lost her son spirit. I was like. This is another reason why I love this show is because it's always changing and these paladins really do dictate their fate and what happens to them in their own story, not as a group, but their individual story yeah. and their mm -hmm. path. And it kind of goes back to the first episode. I was so hoping that someone was going to try to escape that prison. I was like, I want to see this story Me shift. Too. What's going to happen to that character? Because what's her name? Lena was all about, or I think it was Lena. Getting out. Or Ashley. Or Ashley. Getting out yeah. of Ashley. Ashley. And Adrian was all about staying. Yeah. 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 I was like, I would have just loved to have seen someone. Because it well, looked they like they, they, they did. They, they got did pretty far. There, yeah. They got pretty far. I mean, that was, we put them in that pen because we, we actually needed them to hang out there for a while. Yeah. Not just um, a while. How long, Jane? It was three or four <laughs> hours. Oh, God. And, um, yeah. and they didn't know anything about the rules of the game. They hadn't been introduced to Ansgar. They knew nothing. Yeah. We needed to wait for the vizier to actually get off another job to get there so we just wow. had to like wait you know wait it's time but they like immediately tried to start exiting we were like uh oh what's gonna happen here <laughs> yeah, how that's do we like deal the with that? that's like, okay, how do i get out of here like what am i supposed to do like yeah. get a, like a perk or... and then adria to our you know like, we were like whoo we like that was a close call because we were we were really trying to make it immersive and it was live tv wow. i mean this mm -hmm. stuff was happening and you know when they were happening. away we were like running around outside to try to get it you know the next thing set up no, one of the things you said earlier is like when you guys were working on Lord of the Rings, you were like, oh, you saw the actors doing the sword fights and doing all these combat trainings. Did you guys get to experience that? Because, I mean, that's kind of what inspired this idea for the show. Did you actually get to try Well, we that? got to try a lot of the challenges, really? which was really yeah. fun. Was super cool. It was really fun. It was a major fun. perk of being an executive <laughs> It was <producer>. super <laughs> fun. So, actually, Mark and I were on a team for the Scorpion Challenge. We did the Scorpion Challenge, challenge from the with, first with, one. Oh, the third fun. And yeah. then... Um, Oh, you saw tonight the grinding? Yes. Yeah. I yeah. like literally like almost like I took off my, I was like, ah, and like had to pull back and go slower and gingerly because I took off some of my fingernail, which is not a fun thing. And no. like there are things, we got to test all of them and to make sure that they were fair and that, you know, all different types of athleticism and stuff could, could do these things. Yeah. So in addition to us, we also had testers. How much actual training did they go through? The paladins. Not much. I mean, they, you know, for the horse challenge, they had about a half a day yeah. of horse challenge, and then um, some some archery, half a day of archery, and then you'll see uh, next week the the sword training actually happens in episode. Oh, nice. Okay. And, and I'm sorry, I'm Italian, so my hands go yes. all over the place. I'm like <laughs> knocking this around. They every time they went for training, it was part of the story for them. Yeah. So when they would go off for horse training, they were going off with the, you know, people within the army for Ansgar would say, take them, go teach them something. And then they would wow. go off and do that. So they never just kind of went off and all of a sudden now they're out of it. Right. They right. were still in the world of Everrealm. They were just going for horse training or they would go for battle training. They would go for oh, this. They would go for that. So, cool. so I love it's that. all story. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty amazing. We were actually pleasantly surprised yeah. by their you know the, their abilities I and mean, the horse challenge was amazing to us we were like how'd that happen yeah. you know we almost worried that they were too good at what they were doing but they were they're so fun to watch that it didn't matter yeah wow I love that because I think with reality shows like these where you have actors and then you have just regular folk that <laughs> <laughs> we get a little nervous that we're gonna see a lot of pretending yeah. you know because mm -hmm. You're, you yeah. know that this isn't really happening, and especially when they're yelling cut and repositioning you, and making, no. which you guys are saying that didn't happen, nope. which is so great, and it makes more sense now to why they are really invested into in this. It. Yeah. The other thing yeah. was that you know the the great sort of the you know that moment where everything clicks into sp place is that they were prophesied. Yeah. The thing right. that really yeah. got us, we were like, oh, they're prophesied heroes, and pro when you're a prophesied hero. You don't know what's coming. No. Right? And neither do the people of the kingdom know what's coming. So it's oh all this sort of, goodness. you know, when Ansgar walks up and says, like, I don't believe in you or the quest, but my queen's told me to take care of you. So he can, he's just a jerk. Because oh, he exactly. Just, yeah. cool. They yeah. don't have to pretend to have English accents or anything because it's sort of, we, we said early on, it was like Chronicles of Narnia. Mm. You're going to walk through the wardrobe and you were prophesized to be on the other side. So now you're on the other side, but you're still from that time zone. So they didn't have to pretend like they were there from there. They could just be themselves and this world happens around them. And if somebody came running up to you and was like, oh my God, you're the guy that's going to save every, you know, the whole day, you'd go, okay, what do I have to do? Yeah. Oh, wow. Hmm. 
That's so fantastic. Super fun. My mind's blown. I just, I'm know. obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm such a dork a about that. You're on Quest. <laughs> oh, uh, Quest. Which, by the way, is a hashtag. Hashtag is it really? Qu- yeah, it's a hashtag out there. I, love I liked what you said to me last week. We had some questions or something. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm assuming you guys obviously saw it tonight because you said you were live tweeting the East Coast. <clears throat> Wait, show. did you just ask us if we saw it tonight? Yeah. We put the show together. <laughs> I know, but... We saw it months before how, you did. How has been the response, though, to tonight's episode? You know, I was Crazy. actually... We were a little nervous coming into tonight because, mm. you know, we knew people would have points of view. Mm. Um, and people have points of view. Yeah. So, I um, do. Yeah. You know, but I think that we I, do. what we always like to say is that, you know, this She's is... She's giving me the look again. Yeah. I know. It's See, I was negative. happy, and then you guys had to bring it back up. Sorry, Melina. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, the, you know, like, the first... The banishments are hard because, you know, you're just getting to know people and you're falling in love with them and they they get taken too early. Yeah. That's really the answer. But I think that, um, you know, I think if, as, if people stick with it, like the conversation about what makes a hero really plays out in such a surprising way for, yeah. for yeah. us, you know. Well, I think that's why the casting was so great because... Even the first one, God, you wanted to root for. And I feel like yeah. on most shows, you just see a little bit of them. You don't get their whole story. And you're just like, okay, well, they're kind of forgettable. But yeah. with Katie, you you got her story. It came across perfectly. And you still wanted to root for her. And I felt bad for her because you wanted yeah, to yeah. see her develop into yeah. her own, especially being a twin. But that's why I love the cast because there's so many people that are rootable. Even yeah. J- Jim left tonight, but I feel like if Bonnie left, we would have been pissed. We would have been that upset, too. Not I mean, as For upset. me, at least. <laughs> but... There well, aren't just, as many obvious villains. There are You know what no. I'm saying? Like, well, you had pe- we had Christian Pegg from the beginning. Yeah. He seems yes. a little villainous to us. Yes. Jokerish. So did yeah. Severus Snape. <laughs> wow. Touche. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Touche. <laughs> just going to say that sword was sharper on this side. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's talk about tonight's episode then, because we left off last week with Queen Ralia. I want to make sure I'm pronouncing these yes, names right. Yes, very well. She was poisoned. Yes. And we don't know how or why or who and et cetera, et cetera. And that's when Sir Ansgar was like <laughs> get, getting the paladins together to revo- review all these scrolls to find the antidote mm-hmm. for the queen being poisoned. Yes. What did you guys think of that? I mean, I was obsessed, obviously. <laughs> Of well, quest. Of <laughs> quest. Of quest. Hashtag. Get it right. Hashtag. Of quest. I think that was a huge monkey wrench into the show. I don't think any of us kind of expected to see the queen get poisoned and then mm-hmm. possibly die. I think we even discussed it, maybe not on the air, but we're like, she's like a main character. Really? Would they kill her off? This is crazy. And then all of a sudden you start thinking, well, was it one of them? I mean, was it Christian? Could, could he have done it? Like, <laughs> Might have done some more. <laughs> I mean, that's what we were thinking. We were it's thinking that. Is one of them just like a rotten apple and we don't know it yet and we're not going to find out until the glitter? And we got really excited about that. And um, to me, it was just, I'm still kind of going with that, which I'm sure I'm completely wrong. I'm sure You're saying one of the paladins could yeah. be an actor, but we just don't know. Well, I don't know. Because that would be an epic no twist. No way. I don't That's know. Yeah, I know. But it would be a good twist. I, I, <laughs> like, this is the first time we've, like, I have to look everybody in the face when they're saying this stuff. It's like, I don't know how to look because I don't want to try to. Because you like, know. No, because so. I know. I mean, I know what the story is. I know. It's, but, like. Yeah. You don't. You, you're you not going to get anything from me. No. <laughs> Just look you're out. not going to get anything from me. <laughs> you ain't going to get anything from me. <laughs> no, but here's what's so fun about the show. The fun, the fun part about the show is everybody's bringing their yes. own interpretation yeah. into of it, which course. we love. Like, yeah. you know, we love that people are just showing up, and some people are like fully in, and they're making their fan art, and they're making like fan bracelets, mm-hmm. and like fan fiction and then some people are like stopping in just for some fun and it's great it's great so however you want to take it <laughs> but I like how you're taking it <laughs> look, we, I mean, I'm sure I know you follow us on, on Twitter The our, our Twitter fans are unbelievable yeah. mm-hmm. and they are yeah. creating their own fiction they're, they're, they've got their own sort of they think you know everybody is yes. you know, literally somebody from Big yeah. Brother has come in and poisoned the queen <laughs> like they've got a hundred different theories Rachel Miley and you're like <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not quite sure how that happened, but okay. But they do, and that's what Jane said. Is it's fun about this show is you kind of put your own thing into it because we yeah. created something that you can vicariously live through. So yeah. make your stories, and that's why I don't want to discourage you by making any sort Thank of face you. at you like mm, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you for encouraging the crazy. She's I like looking into that. his face like, what I know. is the answer? I know, she kept doing that too. She kept looking like, is he going to twitch? And I'm like, I ain't going to twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I saw a well, twitch. Well, during, <laughs> during the scroll scrambling, you yes. even were the one that was like, Christian probably found it and hid it in his uh-huh. pocket. Like She was I always, thought, wow. always questioning things because you have to remember yeah. the reality component too. It's yes. like, right, right, you don't right. want to share too much with your fellow competitors, yes. but then that doesn't make you a hero. Now that we know that there's nothing that you're winning, well, I think there's really nothing to lose. This episode was the first time, really, that we got to see them compete against each other. Because even last week, their challenge, I mean, they went one at a time. It wasn't, you know... That's true. It but it was wasn't against. Yeah, yeah this and was today true. was the first time. It was so, all across, yeah. Mm-hmm. And Christian made it a, a really big point to show that snarky, evil side of himself. I mean, he even his in his. Are we calling it testimonials? I don't know what we're calling that part. <laughs> I know when it's they're a confession. Oh, when they're oh, oh, Does it not matter? Okay, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, you, you know the terms no. too. DTCs, <laughs> OTFs. We'll just call it their confession. Interview, their confessional. Interview. That's fine. Interview. Yeah. Okay. Their magical moments. Yeah, yeah I like that better for the purpose well, of the show. Well, you'll appreciate yeah. that. Okay. Actually, when we we first started thinking about this, we were going to have a magic mirror, and a magic mirror was going to like. Ask all the special <gasps> questions. Don't give what? Stuff what? That's yeah. cool. Pretty cool. That the technology is pretty out amazing. There. It's crazy. Pretty cool. Season really? two? Maybe. 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 Let's okay. make it happen. Yeah, no like kidding. It. I'm obsessed with Harry Potter, so the mirror in yeah. Harry Potter was. We worked really hard. We, we figured so. out a whole way to do it, and yeah. it just, you had to pick your battles. Yeah, we had to make sure that this. Remember, we worked. had no pilot for this. Yeah. So we had to make we sure this worked. Series, so. Oh, wait. as it, you know, as a. As I didn't know that. As yeah, no pilot. We went right to series, so it was. And Jane said it <gasps> really clear, and I thought it was smart because I'm. I mean, I'll keep pushing and keep pushing, and Jane's like, we we need to make sure that what we are doing, we can get done properly because we couldn't have something fall apart in the middle of it. Right. Just, Freaking microphone! Not you wanted it. You could have had this. You could have had this. I, 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 I could have been like getting Burger King. Right <laughs> Welcome to Good Burger. That's funny. Wow. Well, well, we yeah. see Creo taking the paladins, running through the forest, looking for the hag of Pergwal, right? Pergwal? Idiot boy. Yeah. I'm so upset. Like, I'm so oh, upset. You're so good at that. that. Yes. Did you guys ever make a cameo as a character? All right, no. well, we can, we can say it now. Jane is, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, you've never by seen him way, in the same room. By the way, the hag, the woman that plays that the hag is actually younger than me and prettier. And gorgeous. Gorgeous. And nobody's And she had a ball, you. by the oh, way. Thanks. She had a ball. It was so freeing for her to be in that whole yes. prosthetic. Like, she had a blast. She's a big you, European she actress. She was Awesome. She was she really awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, All right, it's Meryl Streep. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. She was getting ready Rob, for Into the you're Woods. you're not supposed to tell her. <laughs> she's playing she's a witch in Into the Woods. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was fun. And actually, that was, um, I was one of the embedded producers during that. And I had to run like the entire like eight miles to the Marwood oh with gosh. them. And I almost died. Ooh. It was terrible. Is it really eight miles? It was long. I have no idea, but it was long. Oh, those woods are huge. It was a really long... It's it's 70 acres. The footprint around that castle is 70 acres. So just to give it a perspective, that's how much we were dealing with. So it was a long distance. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just embedded to make sure it was all kind of going well. And and, um, yeah, it was exhausting. It's huge. Sure. So when Bonnie talks about not liking to run, like it's actually an earned comment because it's a long way. When Mm -hmm. they would tell us that, like we would be sitting down waiting for the Hall of Fates. So they would be up in the castle, and they'd say, okay, they're leaving right now. It would take 45 minutes for them to get down there. That's how far from the castle to walk through the woods. Wow. Wow. Creepy, right? But it was great, because it put yeah. them in, in the, the dark mood, with lanterns. Yeah. That's so, so they cool, never, they, we <laughs> always had them walk cool. through the woods. Was, was it ever at such late hours? Like Are you two, kidding? Three, yeah. four? The first episode yeah. started at midnight. We, they got yeah. there. And they were overnight because when they see the castle, we wanted the sun coming up behind the castle. Yeah. So they were just in the woods all night long. And I don't know if you've had a chance to see um, ABC Sick. released our extended footage, sort of our director's You tweeted cut. it. It was on Facebook yeah, yeah. or something. So there's a second ogre attack, and they're attacked by the Dark Knights, and they just were there's in the woods There's a raided caravan. And there's a raided caravan. There, yeah. I, I have to ask, was there anyone that genuinely was like, I, I can't do this? I no. No. Okay. No, but they were a little bit, they were freaked, freaked out. out? Yeah, they okay. were freaked yeah. out. And then and, and there was this moment where Creo, which you'll see, Creo leaves them. 
Um, oh, and they're, they're so they get these wild. weapons and they're just hanging out talking to each other. <laughs> what are we what doing? Because from their point of view, they don't know what's going to. They know nothing about the gameplay or, or anything. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I know. <laughs> so then we've talked to them. They thought they were like, wow, are we going Hunger Games here? Like, what's what's Yeah, they next? literally saw it. Uh, and when, and you've so been when, on reality shows. You know, yeah. like, when you get done shooting for the day, you go back to the hotel. They, that's the Sometimes, assumption that yeah. was in was there, <laughs> or, or they're in the house. <laughs> yeah. But that was the assumption that they're going to Live get done her. with the day of shooting. And, and then, then, oh, yeah. But it never stopped. Mm. Right. So they got right. to that point where they looked up at the castle and they realized, Oh my God, we're going to be in a castle. They were so excited, and then they get to live in the castle. So it was, yeah. It Pretty was fun. Really cool. Wow. Pretty fun. So yeah, we keep surprising them. And so they, when they got down to the Hag, they were like, okay, what's next? And I'm not sure they were totally sure they were going to head right into a challenge, but they did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the challenge, I, we loved it, because like you said, it was yes. them finally competing against oh, one another, was, uh, great. trying to get the dragon tears, because only one of them could get yes. it. And how do you make a dragon cry? Oh. I think there's, uh. a, there's a commercial. It's like, it's like a candy commercial, and I can't think what it is. Really? Yes, yeah, it's like Starburst. Yes, it's Starburst, right? The little <laughs> chewable, and they're like, how do they make it so juicy? Well, they captured dragon tears. Oh, okay. we have an really? answer. We should have had a tie-in. What is going on? We had a commercial oh tie-in this whole time. I've never seen that. I, I I'm like, wait, what? Now I need to Google. You guys wow. are hilarious. Next yes. season, from the land of Starburst. <laughs> <laughs> the Starburst yeah. dragon. Dragon. Dragon tears. But it no, was No, it fantastic. was a cool challenge. Yeah. I really liked it. And I I think the most interesting part for me was the Bonnie Christian thing. That was like, a, that comment. It was the first time you really saw some gameplay or strategy and I knew that Christian, if he had gotten it unlocked or he wasn't even trying, so no. let's face that. But he would have left Bonnie in a heartbeat. A heartbeat through her door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he would have. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh my God, I love that. <laughs> through her door. Yes, it would have been horrible, but we would have expected it, right? Yeah. Kind of. I thought it was going to happen. I but. did too. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. we kind of uh, saw Leticia, her name is such a <laughs> Leticia, <laughs> talking about how she felt like Christian intentionally didn't open the door and yeah. slowed Bonnie down on Hold purpose on. so they would go to the Fates Challenge together. She did not mention that till after right. the Fates Challenge. Oh, that's true. After so they, after they voted. No, she, <laughs> oh, wow. 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 No, no, you do not come up with this brilliant idea, this wonderful theory of what Christian's real motives were after. After you the choose to keep challenge. it. After. Okay. Whew. Now that that's out. Game All right. <laughs> and it's out. Wow. <laughs> He's like, can I move? Are you Italian? <laughs> Brazilian. Oh, okay. Oh. Because I was like, you're dead to me. I was like, mom. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But Andrew and Patrick had kind of quite the lead in mm -hmm. tonight's, which yeah. doesn't surprise us. Patrick yeah. and Andrew are two of our front runner favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We love they're, them. They're great. Yeah. But it's so hard. Like we can't even. I can't even look at you guys straight because you're like, yeah, uh huh. That's but, and you not know, to look at and you I know. Say yes, it is. It's a horrible burden. It's a Lock horrible burden door. to know. <laughs> Lock the door. We're not gonna let them leave. Oh, crap. Once, the, once this is off. <laughs> Although I have to say that even having, you know, we know we've edited. We like oh, we edited and edited and watched and watched and watched and watched and, watched and colored and did everything we needed to do. I still get nervous when I watch. Yeah. Really? yeah. How cool is that? That's awesome. She was on it's a pins testament. and needles tonight because she <sighs> knew what was coming up and she was really nervous and and it was we were waiting for Twitter to explode and it only <laughs> did. So yeah, it makes us very nervous watching. Well when we found out that Christian was again in the bottom three, but this time with Jim and Bonnie, we for sure thought he was going home. Because last week we heard the paladins talking about how if Christian's in the bottom, bottom three again, we're sending home. Yeah. If he loses, it's time for him to leave. Mm -hmm. So we kind of already expected Christian to go home. But before we even saw the Fates Challenge, my favorite moment was Bonnie's little um, Ballad of Alvarez. Oh, yeah. That was that made us amazing. Fall in love with her even a little bit she, more. Yeah. How about this? All by herself. We didn't know she sung. <gasps> yeah. Really? Really? No. I mean, we knew we knew that she was from Louisiana, and we knew that she um, had performed like with some Ren Fairs and stuff, and we knew she worked at the Magic Castle. Oh. That was it. That's all. And so, and we thought she was lovely and charming and everything that she is. And and the camera guys, we weren't even there. The camera guys came back and they're like, Bonnie sang a song. And it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. And we weren't sure we had the audio. Because, right. you know, we, and then when it, we, we listened to it, we were like, oh, it's good enough. Thank God. 
it was, it was such a beautiful. gem. A captured and she gem, actually yeah. since has like by herself gone off and recorded it. So I think ABC, we gave it to ABC, and I think they're going to release it. So. Oh, yeah. good yeah. for Bonnie. So, yeah. It's longer, too. It's yeah. like two minutes long. So it's yeah. really beautiful. I thought it was a great moment, especially right before the oh, fake yeah. challenge, because you weren't really sure if she's going home or not. And it's really so it's cool. Just, but we, yeah. we had no idea. It was a total like discovery. That and I feel like on, on shows like that, you know, you bond so much with the people that you're with, and it was just such a special moment. As and they corny also as that is, I was like, stuff. oh, Bonnie. Well, it was so great. I always loved, I love to watch all of them, like when Andrew's singing the words. Yeah. And, yeah, it was really sweet. It gave me goosebumps. Mm -hmm. yeah. It definitely yeah. did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And even to see them, didn't we see them kind of lined up at the table? And I think they were praying because their eyes were all closed. I hope that's what they were doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they were listening. I think they were singing. singing. They were yeah. like into it. That's when yeah. they started pounding that. They were praying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I picked the best seat in the house it's like a whole show right here <laughs> I think they were praying alright <laughs> they were praying in every realm to the face <laughs> so no I guess they weren't praying they were listening <laughs> Oh, that was well, sweet. Well, Creo interrupted that sweet little yes. moment because it was time to go to the Fates Challenge. Yes. Where we saw the three of them duke it out in the grinding challenge. Mm -hmm. Who did you guys think was going to win of Bonnie. the Bonnie. I think, didn't we all kind of agree? Yeah, I was, yeah. Really, yeah. I was feeling Bonnie on this challenge. Yeah. Challenge. She seemed the most focused. And she like, did. Like, everyone keeps kept saying tonight she had the most heart of yeah. anyone on the show. Yeah. I'm trying not to look at those three when I talk yeah, about Yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> I'm like, don't. She, well, no, they can agree with that. She did have the most heart. Yeah. Yeah, well, episode. I mean, it was in the story, so yes. yeah, of course. Okay, yeah. so you can look at them. <laughs> <laughs> she had the most heart. She did, and I think today's challenge was um, less physical, even though Christian made it sound like he was going to do so well because he can turn it faster. I yeah. <laughs> I didn't really think it, it was more so about how quickly you can grind the powder, but just the placement of it. Um, and then when Bonnie said, I completely forgot the white powder, the bone, um, it did scare me for a second. Right. I was like, no. Because if it's her and yeah. Jim, then one of them will well, have then to it, go. It cut to Christian with the white powder dumping. Yeah. I was like, oh, shoot. Yeah. And we knew Christian was going to go home because last week they, they said. said that. And then today, before the Fates Challenge, they said it. So we knew Christian was going to go home. And yet... But he did not. not. And yet, he did not. By the well, way, no I one need goes protection. Home. <laughs> I need to be yeah, escorted no out of the studio when this is no over. No one goes that's home. That's right. They Banished. They, yes, banished. banished. See, the mess. <laughs> I, that's like my favorite thing. Oh, that is, <laughs> that effect <laughs> is it's it's on point. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's my <laughs> It's one of our favorite things, too. It, it took us a while it. Took us a while to like get it, like just so. But yeah. it, we really we really love it. We waited on the program. Yeah, great. Tweeting in the first episode, we waited for that moment, like, because they're gonna just six, and then all of a sudden, I was like, did they just disappear? <laughs> they just exploded. Was the next week though a big topic when Katie's face yeah. was yeah. That, was yes. such, that was like a Hunger Games tribute moment, yes. and I was freaking out. Yeah, that. you were. Yeah. You were like, oh my god. <laughs> I have to say, being up. being in the Hall of Fates and having those faces stare down is super creepy. That's I'm really sure weird. it is, and yeah. they they there is definitely a feeling of like. What? What? What are you looking at? Yeah. Because <laughs> it always looks like they're looking down. Kind of yeah. like the they are. that move. Or they're following. Yeah. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter where you go. You, no matter where you go. Yeah. That I was Newformer. That. that was the company that did that. That's, wow. It was so cool. That's fantastic Incredible. that it wasn't a green screen. That was I magic. That. Yeah. No, match. Like everything that. is magic. everything is an in camera. I believe effect. it. Yep. I mean, wow. that's the whole idea that the paladins, what you see, what they see, everyone's having the same experience. The viewer, yeah. the paladins are having the same experience. Oh, that's really cool. That, that is really that's cool. truly magical. Yeah, so back to cool. why we're really angry. Oh yeah, so Christian and Jim are up. <laughs> we all, I mean, but you have to hand it to them because we, the three of us, have been on shows. Hand so it we, to who? The, the Paladins, because we don't know why they voted the way they did. We don't see the full extent of why Christian has more knowledge on certain things than Jim. We don't get the full 24-7 experience with Christian like mm -hmm. they do. So there's obviously something we're missing out that hopefully we'll see at some point on the show with Christian, because right now mm -hmm. yeah. we're not, he, he's not our favorite. Mm -mm. But we It'll... should know from experience that when you spend 24-7 with these people, when we watch the show, what they're perceived as is not how we were perceived perceiving them. You know I, I mean? think it'll I think it'll come out. It's just that in the last three episodes he has buckled under pressure and so you would have thought tonight, based on all that, that they would have sent him mm -hmm. home. And so yeah, yes. I mean that it is what it is. I don't think that was even out. a question. I don't think we even thought for a moment Christian would have 
been. <laughs> That's why it was so like. That's why it was exciting, <gasps> but also mad. Even <laughs> when he started the Fates Challenge, he did it wrong. He was on the wrong side. Remember, he had to go back over on the other side, and this is kind of what oh he my does. God. It's, it's so he... weird being here because I watched the show, and I'm like, I'm, now I'm just watching you guys. Yes. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, we're, I'm, I'm really here. Like, I'm like, I'm so <laughs> this is what they do every week: is just debate back and forth. Yes. <laughs> interesting. I love that we're all on the same page, though, as far as our hatred. <laughs> I don't know if I hate oh, Christian. Really? I don't like that side eye roll that you just gave me. <laughs> but I think every show needs a character you don't really root for. And right now, he's not <clears throat> the most heroic or rootable paladin. Okay, Mom. Opinion. All right. <laughs> hate is the proper word. Because of him, Jim is no longer in it. And I was really rooting for Jim. He was kind of a, a good guy, I thought. And yeah. I saw so much potential in him. And he had a good heart. He had the heart of a hero. He didn't have the muscles of a hero, but he had the heart of a hero. And and I think that's kind of what the show's all the about. The show's about. Yeah, but remember that the Christian didn't stand behind Christian. <laughs> the paladin stood behind him. So they, like you said, they made a choice that was <sighs> their decision to make. So you kind of have to... Put the emotions aside. And yeah, okay. I mean, because you keep saying that Christian did and Christian did and Christian made Jim go home. No, he didn't. The paladins did. That was their decision to make. It was their free will. So I hate yeah. them all. Well, uh -oh. Except Maybe for two. Bad. No. 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 Sean, no. Christian. You Sean hate Christian. Sean Christian. 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 I thought for a moment there you had calmed her down. Because yeah. I was like, uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It really then, worked. Oh. It was like when the flame starts to go down, and then, and then you throw a glass of vodka on it. It was done. <laughs> You're my vodka. Mm -hmm. Yes. So no, I Jim went home. That is a great point. Poor Jim. Um, yeah. I also wanted to ask you guys because uh, Katie had mentioned this last week when she called in, but did they stay there after each person got banished? I mean, when each person person gets banished, do they stay on that 70-acre castle? They stayed in the little arch. They're in the arch in the cove. Yeah. Oh. Projections. Duh. They're misted. They're, They're with missed. the fates. <laughs> That's really yeah, how, how we're going to do this. God, thing. I love it. It's so <laughs> okay. cool. <laughs> it's how we're really going to do this. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We shall find out. <laughs> Let's dive into predictions then really fast. Okay. Ooh. Predictions. Oh, there it goes. Uh, and now, your After Buzz TV predictions. <laughs> Yay. That That's amazing. So cool. We keep saying that we want the narrator's voice for yes. our after show. Yeah. David, David Kay is amazing. He's amazing. He is amazing. unbelievable. That well, is. you know what? We might be How able to arrange that. <gasps> Oh my god, we should get him in the studio. Really? Wow. He's 98 years old. No. I mean, he, it's hard for him to travel, but maybe he could <sighs> come Wait. to four. What if he came into the studio? Wait, oh is he really god. 98? Yeah. No way. No. Really? The you, paladins are with the fates. Oh, okay. And, <laughs> and, the are and here we are. <laughs> and we're doing this. Oh, no, really loopy. Wait, I do have a question. Was he a narrator in anything else? Yeah, that we does, would know? he does a lot of television work. He just sounds so familiar. I'm going to... Okay, you think... I know who you, you think he sounds like, because it was who I thought he sounded like, too. He sounds like Ian McKellen. Oh, yeah. Wait, I'm trying to think of... what. That's now, I, I'll go look at this later. This when is so you, off topic. If you watch the opening of the show, he sounds like Ian McKellen to me. For it's sure. Awesome. Yeah. Huh. All right, Melina. Yes? I'm sure you have a lot of predictions for next <laughs> <laughs> Some I know who's going to be involved Predict. in every one of those predictions. <laughs> Christian, Christian, Christian. <laughs> I think Christian. No. Um, I, I do think Christian, hopefully, will, I mean, I'm going to say this every week. He will go next. He will be banished next week. Hopefully. That is my hope. It's not necessarily my prediction, but it's my hope. I think we saw an episode, or it was maybe a, a teaser of Bonnie crying, and she's wearing, like, an armor. I don't know. I think that's more just because she didn't maybe do as well as she thought she was going to do. But we love her, and I don't see Bonnie going just yet. Mm -mm. Um, and <laughs> why are We're like, no, not for No, I think Bonnie's going to stay, and I think she's going to do fantastic. Um, who is the girl that we never see? Lena. Lena. I'm waiting right? for something to happen with her. Just because we don't see her very often. And that, just again, from just reality and watching other shows, usually those are the ones that 
do pretty well because mm-hmm. we don't see them throughout the beginning. I'm not looking at them. <laughs> the I'm not even looking show. at you. I'm not even listening to you. <laughs> They're like, this is. I'm thinking, what am I doing on the way home tonight? Oh my so god! Funny. And they are so wrong. No. Um, so I think we're maybe next week will be the episode where we actually get to see Lena because right now I have no connections with her whatsoever because I don't know anything about her because mm-hmm. we never see. Who do you think's gonna get banished? Okay. I really want to say Christian, but um, I feel like... Feelings aside, okay. who's getting banished? Feelings aside, um, I'm going with Shondo. <gasps> no! Uh, yeah. My no, no, no. Shondo? What do you think, Danielle? <laughs> <laughs> what do you I'm think, really Danielle? I'm really upset about that. Okay, I'm thinking uh, Patrick and Andrew are going to continue on their role. I do think Shondo, it's not his time to go home. I think... <sighs> you love him. I, love I do, him. Okay. I love him. I, it's not going to be Christian either, so no. get that out of your head. I want it to be <laughs> Christian so bad. Maybe I'll I go think talk to the hag. Maybe <laughs> it's going to be a girl next week. Maybe Adria or Lena. I forget about Adria. Mm-hmm. How, uh, what? Well, no, just because she's, she's, she's one of the quiet ones. Yeah, well, mm, yeah. What about you, James? Oh, yeah. I think... We saw some relationships form tonight. We know that Adria, Patrick, and Bonnie are fairly close. Yep, Jasmine yes. and Shonda are pretty close. Andrew, yes. Lena, and Christian are pretty close. Yes. But that leaves Leticia. <laughs> I just hate saying her name. It's just like an effort. I can see her going home. Yeah. 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 Possibly. And I like that you brought up those alliances because that was my favorite part of tonight is that we're actually starting to see yeah. a little bit of strategy, a little bit of alliance, which I love that that will play out. But more so relationships forming. Yeah, I'm think sorry. I, not at the end of the day, I feel like this is it more is of a, a popularity word. vote because you're not yeah. voting like who's the weakest on your tribe, and you're not right. voting who's going to be a potential strength threat in the yeah. end of the game. You're voting basically on who can provide the group to last you so long to become the hero. So it's mm-hmm. it's interesting. That's another reason why I love that voting element is because there's so much pros and cons to each person, why you want to keep them and why you want right. them to lead. And I feel like Which we saw tonight for the first time with Christian and Jim. They made valid points, even though we don't like Christian. We don't, yeah. no. For me, it's pretty simple, which I mentioned last week. <laughs> really? <laughs> I had not a clue. That's so weird. Just in case somebody missed it. Wow. Um, last week, I think it's pretty simple. You Remember we said you're running through the forest or something, or the woods, and there's a dragon chasing you. Who do you want running towards we you? We want Andrew running towards us. We <laughs> yeah, were very clear about that. Or with <laughs> clothing. That would be Nothing to do with the dragon. He can though. carry me away into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite tweet from last week? Uh, the Andrew one? I don't know. Uh, was it something about oh, sorry. It was, was uh, Ansgar. It was Ansgar. It was Ansgar. It's Ansgar. Mm-hmm. Sir Ansgar can um, plunder my dungeon. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's dirty. Wow. That's right. naughty. Before we wrap up, but I got what to can first, viewers expect? <laughs> like from What's this, that? What, from this point forward, what can viewers expect well, for I the think, rest I think, of look, I think these conversations are exactly what, you, you know, you're going to start going, oh, like, what, you know, why are people choosing who to stay with them and, like, fight by their side? And, and, and then I think that also the the challenges and sort of the scale of what we do is starts getting bigger and bigger, really. I right. mean, you know, like, it's so exciting because there's so much you haven't seen yet. Yeah. yeah. So we, we, we get really excited. And honestly, the fourth episode, you know, the, the paladins are more comfortable in their environment. We were more comfortable as producers of, of this brand new thing we were creating so we feel like you know episode four is like really starts when when the gas starts going on yes. we wrote so. the the show's written like a feature film yeah. so it's got three acts we're now at the end of act one and now we're moving into act two so it just like a movie it just keeps getting more and more intense i love looking at that way and you start climax. seeing you start seeing as you, you were talking about that they each have their own individual like character arcs and you start seeing it and it's it's really it was super fun for us yeah. You're like, wow, this experiment's super, it's working in a, like, super effective way. Awesome. It's fun. It's fun to listen to you guys and well, analyze it. Well, thank you. Well, hopefully we can have you guys in maybe for the finale oh, of The Quest. That and, like, would be really fun. go over everything and maybe hopefully have news if there's going to be a season two. I know uh, I've seen casting and stuff yeah. already. We did some casting. We did casting because um, we couldn't let, you know, Comic-Con and Fantasy-Con go by without that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then now it's all up, up viewership. So please tell all your friends, all your family. Everybody's got to tune in. It's like, we got to get, get it done. That's yeah. why Absolutely. we love After Buzz. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Where can the viewers find you guys on social media? Uh, I'm at Rob Eric one 
I'm at Harvey, H-A-R-V-E-Y Fleming. And I'm at, at Mark Rodesky. Perfect. And Perfect. Melina, yes. where can they I find you? Christian. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> At, at dead to me. <laughs> at dead to me. <laughs> you can find me at Melina TV. And Danielle. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Danielle Elise P and on Instagram at Danielle Pacenti. You can find me on Twitter at James Wallington and on Instagram at Mr. James Wally. And we're so excited to see what happens from this point yeah. forward. Thank, Thank you, you guys again. for coming. Oh, it's such a pleasure. It's Yay. truly yes. a magical show. And it make really sure to is. rate, comment, subscribe, and keep the conversation going with us on our YouTube video tomorrow morning and on Twitter because we want to know what your thoughts are. And keep the conversation going with the executive producers because they're the ones behind the magic. So yes. if you want to know anything, Yay. follow them on Twitter. <laughs> Thank you, guys, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Bye. See you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.